Is your iPhone slow as hell and does your battery life suck? Well, guess what? Those two things might be connected. And the fix is easier than you think. You might want to hold off on buying that new iPhone for just a little bit longer. I'm James Papadopoulos and this is TechSpank. This past weekend there was a bunch of chatter on Reddit which then spilled over into Mac rumors about allegations of Apple throttling older phones with dying batteries. I just so happen to have an older iPhone 6 and the battery sucks and it seems to have gotten a lot slower since installing the new OS. And by total coincidence I had ordered this brand new battery from iFixit last week and it arrived today. So I thought it would be a great way to perform an experiment. The first thing I would suggest anyone watching this video to check is their battery health. Rechargeable batteries won't be able to be recharged forever, and while iOS doesn't really give specifics, there's a warning that'll appear letting you know if your battery is almost used up. Head to Settings, then click Battery, and at the top of that screen there might be a message like this one saying that your iPhone battery may need to be serviced. Duh, I was lucky to get an hour out of the stupid thing. Since I wanted to see if replacing the battery also made it faster, I decided to run some benchmark tests. First, with the old battery. I did a hard reset and ran CPU Dasher X and saw a CPU frequency of 600, which is slower than it should be. Weird. Then I ran Geekbench. Note that the battery was actually at around 40%, but the phone was plugged into a computer to capture the screen, which changes the time to 941 and the battery to 100% for whatever reason. Anyway, the results came in after 6 minutes and 22 seconds, and the score was 745 for single core and 1233 for multi core. That's slower than the 1463 it was supposed to be getting. So let's replace the battery and retest. CPU Dasher X has a CPU frequency at 1400, more than double the speed. That's a really promising sign. Now how about Geekbench? Well, it finished 2 minutes and 30 seconds faster and the results for both single and multi-core are almost exactly double that of what I got with the old battery. 1467 and 2499 respectively. Now I'm not here to answer why this is the way it happens. Maybe Apple does that so even old phones can at least be used with crappy batteries. I mean if they had it so that they wouldn't work at all then people would bitch and moan and they'd get sued. As it is now I'm sure someone will still sue them over this. Mark my words. So it seems like a dying battery will cause your iPhone to run slowly. So if you have that error message I would recommend bringing your iPhone to an Apple store to get a new battery installed. Or if you're cheap and handy, like me, install a battery on your own. I got mine from iFixit and as with the other times I've used their products in the show, they didn't give me anything for free or any money to mention them. I just think they have a good well tested product, unlike some of the cheap no name crap you can find on eBay and Amazon. Well, that's it for today. May your phone batteries be full and your speeds be speedy. Thanks for watching. I'm James Papadopoulos and I'll see you next time.